You also conduct the Global Brand Simplicity Index every year. Tell us what some of your findings have been. Um, I think it's both of those things, a movement and um, a result of a lot of frustration or confusion on the part of customers because they have so many choices right now about how they do anything, you know. So um, I love it. I love that so many client side companies are embracing simplicity as something that's a differentiator for them. And I think it's, it's a really winning formula. In fact, um, we feel the Global Brand Simplicity Index every year, we've done it for eight, nine years, in which we um, poll over 10,000 consumers around the world on what are the brands in your, it, so it'll be geographically oriented. So if you're in China, you know, what are the top 100 brands there? We'll go and ask people, what are your experiences like in these different um, categories or business verticals? And they rank them on the simplest brands to buy, to use, to understand. And um, one of the things, we find things, apart from that ranking, um, really interesting things every year when, when people start to talk about those brands they love and those brands that frustrate them. And so that companies, products, brands that embrace simplicity, um, they see incredible customer loyalty. They actually see um, pricing power. Like we've, we've quantified how much money is left on the table in any given industry um, by the leaders if they could only make their products simpler. And it's billions and billions of dollars. And we also see um, profits increase. If it's simpler to use your products, people are going to buy them more often. If you bring simplicity into your company and make innovating simpler, you know, make the approval process, the collaboration process, all those kind of things simpler do, to do within your own company, you're going to see productivity explode. Um, if you make if you take out complexity from, the, from your client relationships so your client service calls drop because people aren't confused about a product, about the cost, about the service, um, you see cost savings. So um, what does that all mean? It means you become more profitable. So for public companies, what does that mean? It means your stock price goes up. So we've charted the, the most simple public companies over, since we've started the survey nine years ago or eight years ago. And what we've seen their stock price do is crush, I mean crush, every single major stock market index around the world in up years and down years. So tough years like 2009, 10, 11, the simplest companies outperformed you know, S&P 500, the DAX, et cetera, massively. Those are in down years. In up years, it's even more so. Google, for example, Apple, for example. McDonald's uh, in, in, in Europe, Aldi, which is a, a shopping store, all of these and others have done very, very well.